All right, let's have a look at this kind of search question. This is uh, a bit unusual compared to the normal search question. Why? Because you can see the normal search question, right? You have the one square root over here and one big square root on the other side. But if you see carefully here, uh, the negative one doesn't have the square root at all. So in this kind of cases, right? Um, of course, you can group the search together in one side if you want to. Or you can actually straight away uh, square both sides also can. I'm going to show you one of my favorite methods. So first thing is I will literally square both sides. Alright, here uh, on my left hand side is very easy. I can just cancel out. I left x minus 2. Okay, but on my right hand side, this one is actually a minus b square. So if I expand it, I should get a square minus 2ab plus b square. So because of this logic, so I will just expand this one. I square, square x, I will get x. Then minus 2 multiply square x is, is, then you will get minus 2 square x. And then negative 1 square is positive 1. Alright, then both sides have only 1 x, I can minus them, no more x. And then I'm going to move the negative 2 square x to the other side, become positive 2 square x. And then... For this minus 1, I'm going to move to the other side, it will become plus, I mean minus 2, I'm going to move to the other side, become plus 2, isn't it? Then 1 plus 2, I will literally get a equals to 3. Then square root x, divide 2, isn't it? So I will get 3 over 2. Then I can square both sides again to get rid of the square root. Then I will left x equals to 9 over 4. This is how simple we solve this kind of third questions.